This here is your trade review of my setups for May 4th. FE first energy did not trigger. Did find support at the lower end of my range. However, no continuation upside, no momentum to carry it up. Uh, I do like this inside candle that's forming today. I'll keep this on watch for another setup tomorrow. After that, we do have uh, some successful trades here. First up was Dust, D-U-S-T. This was the uh, inverse leverage ETF for gold miners. And it gapped up, and because it's it does jump around quite a bit, it spreads quite large, I did not take the gap and go type of entry. I watched the two minute instead and watch for some sort of consolidation. I got a green hammer candle here and a good confirmation move just above those levels uh, allowed for a fairly tight stop. Just trailed my price up, my, excuse, excuse me, trailed my stop up here. Once it crossed over the round number of 38, I went really tight with my stop loss and got taken out just below 38. Left a little bit on the table here. As you can see later in the day, it did run up. But after this point, I was not interested in watching it anymore. Next up was GPK. This is a Graphic Packaging Corp. This one opened up. This is a perfect uh, setup for a hammer candle follow through, although it's a low price stock. So not a huge move, but as you can see, it's a very nice move that confirmed and provided a decent trade. 10 cents of a gain when I was only risking 3 cents. And it's not too, too bad. Uh, just not a huge blockbuster type trade. Next up was Noble Energy, NBL. Uh, NBL is actually looking for a pullback down to here, but when I got this opening five minute green hammer candle, I have to take that trade. That's just my setup. And uh, when it works, it usually works out pretty well. This one ended up making a decent little gain here versus the, uh, the risk that I took. The initial risk uh, was down here. However, about 15 minutes after it moves, I immediately start trailing it up, uh, either based on price or the VWAP or even the eight day, or excuse me, eight, eight period exponential EMA, uh, whichever one appears to be holding price the best. Next up I have here is PG, Procter Gamble. This was another one that I had to break down to the two minute chart. It did gap up. The spreads were quite large on the on the open, so nothing was taken here. Uh, as you can see, the two minute found support right here at this eight period exponential moving average. Had a green over green break, triggered me in, and ran up until I had a break below uh, consolidation. Didn't quite get the exact highs, but got up to my target was actually 87, so it's not too, too far away. It was not a huge gain, but a gain nonetheless. And after that, we do have couple, I think just one or two trades that may have failed. No, just this one, uh, DSW. DSW, because it is a cheaper stock, I uh, did take the gap and go type of entry, five cents above the open, and it failed within 15 minutes, and there was no profit to be taken there. It took a small loss on that one. Overall, it was four wins and uh, one loser today.